Good morning, Bulldogs! For special announcements for lunch today, we have drum roll, please. Chicken, chicken fried steak. steak! Next week, we have Cajun chicken pasta on Tuesday, barbecue chicken sandwiches on Wednesday, thigh meatballs on Thursday, and corn dogs on Friday. It's Career and Technical Education Month. CTE is represented across several departments and numerous courses at Grant. Between family and consumer science, business, and technology education, there's so much for students to explore. Want to learn more about CTE? Talk to your counselor about enrolling in CTE courses before schedules are finalized and attend Parent University on Wednesday, February 28th at 6.30 p.m. We will be joined by multiple industry professionals, current grant students, and grant teachers who can provide even more information on CTE courses. The boosters need your help covering shifts in the concession stands. Check the announcements for the sign-up link and volunteer today. Speaking of the boosters, they just opened their store for Letterman jackets. This, this is a great opportunity to purchase some new gear and rep your club or sport. Their store closes on March 4th and deliveries will be made the week of March 19th. Check the daily announcement for, for the store link. For clubs and activities, the Talking Bulldogs are heading to state. It is an exciting weekend for our speech team as they closed out sectionals with a fifth place team finish, two finalists, four advancing events, an individual sectional champion, and a sectional champion title for the PIR. Congratulations to Abby Sovaskai and Aaron Neiman for taking third place in the humorous duet acting, Sammy Cruz for taking second place in prose, Jackie Benfeld for taking second place in humorous interpretation, and first place in original comedy, and our PIR group for taking first place our state qualifiers are scheduled to compete at the Peoria Civic Center tomorrow. Make sure to follow the Talking Bulldogs on Instagram for updates on their state competition. Our winter dance is just nine days away. Ticket sales for the dance have started and can be purchased through the bookstore or online for $15. Remember, tickets must be purchased by the end of the day on Friday, February 23rd. Before we hit the dance floor, the sophomore class council has put together a spear week for some winter dance fun. Starting on Tuesday, we have Tangle It Up Hair Day. Students are encouraged to come up with some creative hairstyles, so grab all the hair ties and ribbons you can find for an epic updo. Wednesday is all about Disney. Thursday is a plaid day for all. On Friday, wear your best purple and gold clothing for a day full of tangled spirit. A full list of themes can be found on the Grant website and will be featured on your Chromebooks soon. The Canine Connections Club is looking for your help in preparing for their FIDO Festival adoption and fundraising event. If you would like to contribute or create a donation item for their raffle basket sales, talk to Ms. Trevithick in Student Services. In addition to their upcoming fundraiser event, Canine Connections Club is challenging the academic team in another Bow Wow Bowl. If you're interested in participating or want to watch their watch the action, reach out to Mrs. Th 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 this year, Grant Theater is proud to pre present the musical Annie. Annie. And you know, you're, you're never, never fully, fully dressed, dressed without, without a, a smile. smile. Or an Annie shirt. Check out our spirit wear for this year's show and turn in all payments to the bookstore today. Order forms can be found on the daily announcements. Make sure to mark your calendars for Grant's Got Talent. Our talented Bulldogs will be taking the stage on March 8th and can't wait to show off their skills. Join them in the auditorium for a night filled with laughter, tears, singing, dancing, comedy, and more. If you are interested in joining Fall Color Guard, please email Ms. Scholar and ask for the sign-up form. All interested students must sign up by March 15th. For athletics, our varsity girls bowling team competed at Arlington Lanes over the weekend for sectionals and had an impressive day on the lanes with a team total of 4,933 pins. They came up a few pins short and ended their season as a team with a fifth place sectional finish. While they did not qualify as a team for state, they will be represented by Savannah Dixon, who took second place for individual standings with a total of 1,237 pins. This is Savannah's third year in a row that she has qualified for state, and we are excited to see how she ends her senior season. Savannah is competing at state on February 16th at the Cherry Bowl in Rockford. Follow Grant Girls Bowling on social media for more updates. The dance team took a trip to Florida for nationals last week and finished 14th 
in the nation. Congratulations on a successful season and a solid debut on Nationals. We can't wait to see what you achieve next year. The Varsity Girls basketball team ended their season this week after a tough regional match against Warren. Both teams put up quite the battle, but Warren outshot our Bulldogs in the end. With the end of their season comes conference recognition. We'd like to send a special shout out to Nevada Holm and Elisa Sanquist for being selected as NLCC All-Conference Athletes. Holm finished her season's senior season with an average of 11 points, 9 rebounds, and 2 steals. Sanquist wrapped up the season with an average of 15 points, 6 rebounds, and 3 steals. Congrats on your All-Conference recognition. The boys basketball program traveled to Round Lake last week and swept the Panthers. Varsity secured an early lead as they ended their first quarter 20-5. They kept their lead throughout all four quarters and switched the night with a winning score of 67-37. to We have three Bulldogs heading to the IHSA Wrestling State Finals. At the Boys Wrestling Sectional in Barrington, Vince Jasinski and Eric Rodriguez earned their spots on the podium. They are representing Grant today and we're wishing them the best of luck. At the Schomburg sectional, Ayani Jasinski punched her ticket to state for the third year in a row. She will compete at Grossinger Motors Arena on February 23rd. Ticket and streaming info for both state competitions can be found in the daily announcements. Registration for spring sports has opened and trials are coming soon. Track and field has already started their season, but there's room for those looking to join. Baseball, badminton, lacrosse, softball, girls soccer, and boys tennis start on February 26th, and boys volleyball starts on March 4th. Make sure to register before your season starts, and check the daily announcements for more information. Today, our state qualifiers for boys wrestling are competing at state. Tomorrow, it's day two for Boys Wrestling State, and Savannah Dixon is heading to the Cherry Bowl in Rockford for Girls Bowling State. On Saturday, it's day three of Boys Wrestling and day two of Girls Bowling State. Good luck to all our Bulldogs competing this weekend. You got this. For student services, the counselors are gearing up for their first meeting of the First Gen Bulldogs group. This group focuses on helping first generation students who are looking to attend college learn more about the application process, financial aid, and more. If you are interested in joining, reach out to your, to your school counselor today. For the College and Career Center, we have a college rep from Winona State University visiting our campus on Wednesday, February 21st during 6th period. There are several reps scheduled for March. Check out the daily announcements for a full list and sign up on SCORE to attend. This week's highlighted career is focusing on electricians, a CTE career. Did you know that the median annual wage for an electrician is $60,000 and there's a projected employment increase for over 49,000 jobs? If you are interested in becoming an electrician or need help planning for after high school, reach out to Mrs. Misura. Before we sign off, we wanted to remind you that there is no school tomorrow or Monday. Well, well that's, that's all from us this week. week. Have, Have a great day. day. Enjoy, Enjoy your week. long weekend. weekend. And remember, remember to keep, keep it red, Bulldogs. Bulldogs.